Hey, hey Mzanzi, yikes Mzanzi, it has been over a year and a half since the fatal night when radio and TV personality Stembiso Buji Bikwa and media darling Boiti Dulo got into a drunken brawl that left the beauty's face bruised. Buji was arrested and charged with assault with intent to cause grievous bodily harm after throwing a glass at her. After an ongoing case and investigation, Boiti has since dropped the charges against Buji and he can finally live a free life life. The incident happened after an argument broke out while the two were at a hotel in Midrand, Johannesburg. A group of friends, including Buji and Boiti, were sitting outside at the pool area enjoying drinks when they got into a heated argument. In an audio taken by one of the eyewitnesses, Boiti and Buji were heard arguing minutes before the sound of a breaking glass and screaming was heard. Other voices were heard trying to stop the assault. Buji was heard discussing ancestors and Boiti's ancestral calling, and this is what he said. Do you know what's the worst part, Nam? Going inside the water and seeing your grandfather, and just like that, Boiti's grandfather bailing out. Is this how weak you are with such aggressiveness? I don't need to toss up, Buji said. Boiti then responded by saying, I'm a bigger person than him. No one knows who he is. He is like a nobody. Every time he shows up, it's like, why is this guy around? Then minutes later, the argument turned violent. Boiti was then rushed to the hospital and then later opened the case. Buiji was arrested and held in custody at the Johannesburg Correctional Center. Days later, he was granted 2,000 rand bail by the Midrand Magistrate Court and was warned by the court not to temper with the investigation. Soon after that, pictures of the bleeding Boiti resurfaced on the internet. She addressed the incident saying that she would be following the case with keen interest. And this is what she said, it is with deep sadness to state that I was indeed an unfortunate victim of a vicious physical assault and that I have since opened a case against the culprit, which I am following with keen interest. I do not wish to comment on this matter any further at this time, she wrote in a statement. After the incident, the publicist who had invited the two to her event was taken for a disciplinary hearing at work and later dismissed due to the incident. Boidi is said to have since dropped the case. Buji told another news publication that he can finally breathe a sigh of relief. I was struggling to get work because of this pending case. I was shamed and lost a lot of endorsement deals and I needed to do a lot of healing, he said. It was not easy but I've been fighting for my life. Adding to that, Boidi dropped the charges after he received counselling and they underwent a meditation process with the measuring court. Boidi and I spoke. We both realised our mistake. We hugged each other and agreed that it's time that we move on and be civil towards each other. Things will not be the same, but we can try, he said. Buji does not condone violence and said he learned that there are some issues that he needs to deal with. I am trying to be a better person, but I'm grateful for the second chance, he added. Yikes Mzanzi, what are your thoughts about this? Personally, I am glad that Boiti and Buji decided to make peace and move forward from this. Mzanzi, please leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. We would love to hear from you. Until next time Mzanzi, from this heart to yours, it's one love.